Someone posted on Reddit that they had found the job. Yay, and they were thrilled. There's someone who submitted 253 applications, had 13 interviews, got one offer, and as they said, probably 10 buckets of tears and a handful of nervous breakdowns. Uh, he works, or she works as a creative, I don't know, gender here, uh, but they want to share some things with job hunters that they thought made sense. Now, they're not a fan of LinkedIn. They're a creative, I understand that. Uh, there are better places for creatives than LinkedIn. They also said, look at different locations. Right now, most of the jobs are remote, so don't border yourself uh, or, or bind yourself into one state or city. This person got a job working flexible hours with an out-of-state company. This is an important one. Grow thick skin. Their first interview seemed perfect. They stressed about it. They were overthinking every detail. They went through all the rounds and then got ghosted for two weeks and then got a rejection letter. It happens. Uh, they, and this one I loved. If they give good feedback during interviews or even after an, interviews, after an interview, it doesn't mean anything. People are liars. Recruiters lie. HR managers lie. As they say, I had an interview on Friday with someone who complimented my work all interview and asked me to send them a deck on Monday. The following day, Saturday, he got a rejection letter from them. I got ghosted. I had three interviews where people didn't show up to an actual interview. One of it, a position they got an offer for. Be prepared for people to be flakes. Good signs. They talk about you in the position. You will be. They say, hope to talk to you in the near future. That one I agree with. The other one, no. Uh, your questions make them laugh or and or deeply think. They smile during the interview. Networking is great, but honestly didn't help this person much. Great resources for a resume. CVM... Um, kr.com streak for Gmail uh, for email tracking uh, sticky notes from Microsoft for video interview notes for creatives uh, they, he, he or she suggests you don't need to have a paid version of Wix or a website uh, that you can work with the free version of Wix portfolio with a funky link and it's fine no one cares be prepared to not be prepared. Even though interviewers ask mostly the same questions, you never know what they will ask out of the blue. Resume, make sure to read the description. And if you find some wording that describes your skills, add it to your resume word for word for future jobs. You want to have your resume speak the language of the industry. This was ultimately the most important thing. Have faith in yourself. And they say, I know it sounds generic, but you got to believe in yourself because if you don't, who will? Hope you found this helpful. I'm Jeff Altman, The Big Game Hunter. My website is thebiggamehunter.us. Go there and go exploring. There'll be a lot there to help you in the blog. If you'd like my help with your search, you can schedule time for a free discovery call or schedule time for coaching so I can help you. And if you're not ready yet, put my web address in your phone. Again, thebiggamehunter.us. You can get in touch with me or go back to the site at a later point. Lastly, connect with me on LinkedIn at linkedin.com forward slash IN forward slash thebiggamehunter. Hope you have a terrific day and most importantly, be great! Take care.